Okay, day two of the Tour de France, second stage. Peter Sagan has won stage two of the Tour de France. He's uh, now the holder of the yellow jersey, and there's a reason for that. The start point was in uh, Moulin Saint Germain, which is in the Vendée region of France, and the finish was in La Roche Sillon, which is also in the Vendée region of, of, of Western France. Very beautiful historical region, and I can do a history on the region on the other channel at a later date. It was 182.5k, which is a standard, a pretty standard average uh, Grand Tour stage length. Uh, could even be a one-day classic if in length. So it's not a, a bad stage length. It's not the most taxing. It was a, a few a few climbs. It was I think a one category four climb in in the stage. But overall, not an overly taxing stage for for the geography. Um, the wind wasn't as bad as predicted. They were expecting some strong winds that could have split the peloton. It didn't really happen today. Fernando Gavria started the day with the yellow jersey and he loses it. There were several minor crashes and then there was the big crash in the last 2k. Um, the field's coming into uh, La Roche-Sillon at quite a lick and there's a hairpin turn and it was right at the front of the person. It wasn't at the back, which you would normally expect. It was very close to the front where the yellow jersey was jostling for position. And that split about 10 riders off the front, which Peter Sagan and some of his Bora teammates were part of, and, Ala and Alejandro Valverde. GC contender. They're now well free. Now, Gavria did recover rather well. In the second group, we're only about 20 seconds behind uh, Peter Sagan, so it wasn't as if it was a massive break, but the peloton disintegrated in the last two kilometres. There were big gaps all over the place, and some riders were seriously, seriously hurt. We've seen a couple of riders have to abandon due to sickness and injury. There were several crashes on the road throughout the day. On not a very taxing stage, so this is, this is very surprising. But that major crash basically made it easier for Peter Sagan um, to, to win the stage. Uh, it was a photo finish at the end, but he timed his sprint up, up the sprint incline perfectly. It was a slightly uphill sprint finish. He timed it absolutely perfectly. So he's not only got the yellow jersey, he's in a commanding position for the point screen jersey as well for another year. So he's trying to win that for a record sixth time, uh, the green jersey. And overall, that's his ninth stage win at the Tour de France since he started competing. So he's... He's a pretty decent stage winner. Obviously, Mark Cavendish is going for the stage win record from Eddie Merckx. He's got, I think, three or four stages to, to beat that record. So, Peter Sagan's got a long way to go to be a record breaker in stage wins. But, overall, he negotiated the chaos. Um, the amount of crashes we've had um, so in the first two days is, is a bit worrying. Um, a lot of riders in the GC class, general classification riders, have been caught up, including Froome, Adam Yates, uh, Quintana. Um, Richie Paul, a lot of general classification riders have been caught out with some really big accidents. And today was no different, except the sprint finish was, was what we were hoping for, and we didn't really get a massive sprint finish, but there's about 10 riders that managed to escape ahead of the crash and, and got away with it. And basically they finished as a cluster, and then Gavria and some of the other sprinters and some of those that were near the front come in, the peloton had really fallen apart very, very quickly. There were some big gaps. Because there was a crash in the last three kilometres, all time gaps are nullified, so no one should lose any time from entering 3k onwards. So from where the time they've really lost, they shouldn't lose any more, um, which is an interesting rule that the Tour de France has. But it's his ninth stage win. He's now hold of the yellow jersey. Um, and tomorrow is the team time trial, which is only like a 33 kilometre course, um, which will be interesting to see if he can maintain his hold on yellow and you know because he and his team and one of his Bora teammates were quite hard in the finish they can start later on in the time trial as well so he hasn't done bad today so we have to see how it beats again Sagan and his team can defend the yellow jersey tomorrow and what team is the best time trialing team but overall as stage two in a nutshell um not the most taxing but somehow they're still crashing so there we go Tomorrow's the team time trial. I'll have a video for that tomorrow after this after this stage three. And um, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, place your comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.